Best advice I have for boys in dance is to not listen to any of the shit that anybody else says. I grew up in an area that doesn't favor boys that dance. Um, so when I would do dance competitions and there would be these other studios that had 8, 9, 10, 12, 15 boys at a dance studio, I'm like, I wish I would just have, like, I would love to just have one other boy at the studio. Um, you know, so, so in my area, it wasn't cool to be a, a dancer. I think, I think that stigma is still there a little bit, that stereotype of, you know, if you're a boy who dances, you're gay, is still there in small pockets. But it's way cooler now for boys to dance than it was 25 years ago. Um, I think it's cooler now for boys to dance than it was 10 years ago. Tap is sort of one of those things that isn't, it's sort of on the side. Um, I don't want to liken, liken it to a baton class, um, but like dance studios have baton, but sometimes you don't really know. Um, everybody nowadays wanted to, they, they just want to do the contemporary class. It's contemporary, it's not modern. I'm not going to call it modern because it's not modern. Um, it's, a, it's really just lyrical. Uh, it's angsty. So it's called con contemporary. Um, that's what everybody wants to do. Tap isn't tap isn't everybody's favorite class, and that's cool. I, I'm fine with that. But even if kids aren't really good at it, I want them to be excited to do the class, regardless of whether they're stumbling over their feet. So I, I want to approach a beginner tapper w with excitement, with uh, energy, with confidence in them knowing that what I can give them is going to help them better achieve what they can do the best. I like beginner tappers because when the light bulb goes on, that again goes back to the other question, um, sort of like what are the things that happen that m make me realize like I'm doing what I'm doing is a good thing is that light bulb coming on